Polly here, what's going on everybody? Uh, if you're checking this video out early, then you are a member of the channel. So um, we'll have these out of the theater reviews, just coming out of the theater. First for our members, should consider becoming a member now. And the movie I'm getting out of the theater for is called Arm, which translates into uh, Aja Yan's second theft. Aja Yan is the lead character in this film, which covers three generations of a family of thieves, but heroes, warriors over land that uh, the king was deceptive on. Fantastic story. Great family entertainment. Uh, fantastically told. It wasn't like a heavy movie or too scatological as far as hyper-reality. Uh, and I, I actually was surprised on how lovely and tender, funny, and almost provincial the movie is because it's told in a small town. Now, it, 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 it probably by the time you get to see this movie, which I do recommend, It'll probably be, uh, be on some streamer, but let me tell you the biggest uh, takeaway from me is that of the lead actor, Tovino Thomas. He plays not one, not two, but three characters in this film over three generations. He is the standout. He makes this film, but without him, it's nothing. It's just an okay film, but he is absolutely incredible from a swashbuckling warrior of over 100 years ago who just looks just so uh, very piratey. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. To the uh, Manayam grandfather, who was the, the, the legendary thief of the land. And he was kind of like almost this uh, very kind of wicked, you know, uh, hiding in the shadows, you know, badass thief. To Aja Yan in the present day, who is this very sweet and uh, loving uh, uh, young man who's in love with a, a woman who's out of his league, but she loves him. But they have a family, they have a generations of shame that's connected to them, to where even because of the caste system and the shame, uh, his own mother is not allowed to go and uh, pray in the temple where there is this yearly uh, festival that, that happens. So, you know, a little insight there. It doesn't get too heavy. It doesn't get too, uh, you know, too uh, fluffy either. It's, it's, it is light. It's, it's very reminiscent of, like, how a, a really good Hollywood family film mixes in with some action. Now, let's talk about the action. There are some really, really cool martial arts in this film. Uh, one particular uh, fight scene, which I was very impressed with, but I actually was surprised that there wasn't more. So it really relied on the stories of these characters, and I was like, huh, okay, not, not that I'm against it, but that's what the majority of this film was, was uh, in regards to present-day uh, Ajayan trying to uh, maneuver around uh, the challenges that I already mentioned. So... Uh, what I'm hearing is uh, mixed reviews to positive reviews. I absolutely adored a lot of this film. I, I thought the ending was a little too quick, a little too perfect, but and then there's a, there is an opening for a, uh, for a uh, potential uh, part two. But, you know, that being said, I'll take it. I really, like I said, I really adored the, the story. And, you know, it's, uh, it's triumphing over, over generations of shame. It's triumph over, uh, you know, uh, the caste system in regards to just who, who's allowed to pray rare, who's allowed to uh, pray uh, to God where. I love that stuff. Absolutely love this stuff. And there's, like I said, some cool, um, some cool martial arts. Again, Tovino Thomas is the, the big standout. He was the lead actor in a, uh, another uh, Malayam uh, film called uh, Minlali, where he played a superhero. The thing with Malayam is that this, uh, this industry is that it's not high on like over the top budgets. It really relies on story, actors, and filmmaking, and that's, that's you can see it here. Uh, which it wasn't like, uh, I don't think it was uh, the biggest budget, uh, but it looked good. 
and uh, it was a, like I said, a really solid story. So I do recommend it. It's really good. Is it great? Probably not. It's really good, but uh, you know, compared to a lot of what out, what's out, what is out there, uh, I'll take it any day. And it was really good to see it in the theater. Uh, it was just a really good time. It's about two and a half hours long. So uh, let me know what Indian films you guys check out. If you're new to our channel, we do love watching international films from Latin America all the way to India. That's the Latino slant. Uh, wherever you're at, keep your slant for Gracias, everybody. Be cool, y'all. The movie is called Arm.